You know, I hope you get to see Usher because I am so tired of hearing about it. <laughs> it started when we were younger, you were mine. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> you gonna get us kicked out. Singing <laughs> with the Hamiltons. <laughs> We've had a video like very long it's felt like years it's been about six months i cannot believe it's been six months like that's literally half a year i think people were starting to doubt if we'd ever come back to youtube we told y'all that we was gonna be back and yeah. here we are <laughs> they just have to be patient i think you know because life be life is but now we're back and we're excited to do a life update just catch you guys up on everything that's been going on and what we have coming up we are very very excited to share that with you first of all if you've noticed we are in a new space it's moving day all right can't wait to move into our new loft got a lot of work to do though yeah a lot of work it's definitely so bittersweet that place was so special to me because as we told you guys you know having my own workspace has always been a dream so that was like my first professional workspace and so it was hard to say goodbye all right most of our stuff is packed up mm -hmm. so I'm so sad. Gonna miss this place. I'm gonna twirl Ooh. around like. Oh. Yay! <laughs> Don't. Okay. You trust me? No. What? <laughs> you should. Why? I do. Do but you think I would actually let you go? I was getting dizzy. <laughs> Come on. We just got the keys to our new place. Let me see, babe. Let me hold one. Like what the factory was to Andy Warhol. Ooh, I like that inspiration. But we're on to bigger and better things. It's closing day. Here we are. Here we are. Closing day. Pulling up. Pulling up. Ah. This is our new studio. Yep. We purchased this in April and we are just super excited to make content here and just have a ball. So we actually own this space before we were leasing the space. Okay. So it's it's a big step up for sure. Yay, Yay. we did it. We did. We, we just, just closed. closed. It is the start of a really big journey it is. for the next stage of our life. Absolutely. So, you know, we, we're getting this place together. We're still a uh, work in a... Uh, work in progress. Progress. And Lauren's done a lot with her office to get it together. It's already very much decorated. So I can't wait to see what else she does with it. I still have to decorate my office. Yeah. This time I am committed to decorating my office. Last time I was like, well, we're just leasing the space, so there's no point. But now that we own the space, I'm gonna decorate it. Let me know in the comments what you think I should do to decorate. I was about to say, because the white wall that Cam has had over the past three Come years. Come on now. Look, I was just <laughs> focused on getting my work done. But again, we're here, we own the space, might as well decorate. So what are you gonna put up in your office? I want it to be very, you know, cyberpunk. That's kind of the thing that I want as a cyberpunk. theme. Cyberpunk. Yeah, so. I wanna get those like hexagon lights that we watched yesterday. Oh, like show. the panels, like yeah. the LED stuff? I just haven't figured out what I'm gonna do in here yet. Yeah, I guess it's, we're still... Still working on it. So a I lot of like neon LEDs. You said you were gonna put up my artwork that I painted. I am gonna put up your artwork. That can go in there too. Now you're switching it up. I now didn't it's... switch anything up. I always wanted to keep your artwork, yeah. but I also want a cyberpunk theme. So that's what we will see. Very, what is it? The movie you like? Blade, Blade Runner. Blade Runner. Altered Carbon. Other projects. Okay. Um, yep. Well, speaking of projects, one of the things that we've been working on while we've been away is just our own personal projects. Yes. Um, as we've told you guys, Cam and I are always trying to find our work-life balance. And I know for me, this year that meant focusing on building my brand, doing my own passion projects, um, Speed Brand, which yes. is my media company. I started working on a documentary about, well, I don't wanna give y'all too much information, uh -oh. but really exciting to you know branch off and do things that we've always dreamed about. And on that same topic, for me, I have a big writing project I've been working on for many years. 
it's one of those things where it's, you know, we are really excited to tell you about the projects we have going on, but we also don't want to give everything away. We want it to be somewhat of a surprise. So I really, really want to talk to you about that, but just know that I am putting a lot of work into this writing project. Very excited to share it with you, hopefully in 2024. Now I'm gonna tell y'all what I did experience for the first time this year was the BET Award. Yes. I didn't, but she did. This was quite the year to experience it. It was a little, um, it was a great experience. Okay. I got to see uh, Ice Spice and them. And I mean, Sexy what Red. could be better than Ice Spice and Sexy Red? Yeah. Um, so that was an experience. I also got a chance to do some panels with Essence for the Essence Fest. That yep. was my first time there. It was so amazing. Uh, I was a little jealous, to be honest. Well, we, we well I, want, I just always want to go to New Orleans. We have to go back to New Orleans for Essence Fest. I had a panel with some Hollywood punks. What's up, Essence Fest? Why are you looking at me? So I'm just saying, I'm like, what? Hunk? I'm the only Hollywood I am player. the only hunk that you need, obviously. <laughs> but I also talked to some female gamers, some WNBA stars. So it was a really amazing experience. I also want to mention I got to host a Love is Blind watch party in Nashville. So we are at the Love is Blind fan event. We've got Chelsea, we've got Brett, and we've got these lovers. <laughs> That was cool. Um, got to meet like Brett and uh, Cole from mm. season four and season three, Rivers. and Chelsea from season four. And it was a little surreal, you know, because it's that whole lib ecosystem. Lib bubble. So, yeah. how was it like meeting them? Were they cool? Were they. They were. Like, how was the. Yeah, you was know. Was anybody weird? You can, you can share it with our YouTube oh, audience. Oh, well, I mean. Look, anyone who goes on live is weird as hell. That's just that's Am just I part. Weird? Oh yeah, baby. Me too. Shoot, it's just par for the course. Oh hell yeah. I mean, <laughs> no. I mean, it's just you have to be a little, little crazy to go on that show. But no, Brett was he was cool. I, I liked the guy. He was very like mild mannered in a way. You know, he's just like very kind of reserved. Hmm. And but he was a super sweet guy. He was a little uh, bougie. Oh. I mean, he admits no, it. He, no, no, he admits it. He's just he was very bougie. bougie. Yeah. He was very bougie. He was kind of bougie on the show. He was. He was. He even called me out uh, at dinner. He's like, damn, you're going to eat all those calories? Oh, no, he didn't. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I am. I'm hungry, Brett. <laughs> what? Everybody can't eat air and ice. Okay. He was he's very watching his his figure trying to keep spelt, I guess, but Brett, you better quit counting people's calories. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Worry about your own calories on your own plate. Uh, but Cole surprised me because I watched him on the show and I was like, he seemed a little off, but in real life he was a super sweet guy. Cole has a huge life size picture of Cameron in his living room. Which I was just that he took it really, in Yeah, I was really flattered about that. This photo is from when I did a quick little tour in Nashville. I wanted to get this photo printed out just because it's not every day that you get to meet someone who had a big impact on you before you met them, right? And like Cameron had a really big impact on me through Love is Blind before I did the show. I really love the guy. I, I really bonded with him. And we went out, it was like Chelsea, Brett, Cole, and I, and we had a great night. And yeah, it was just a great time, but. Well, speaking of eating, okay, Cam has been in the kitchen chefing it up. I have, yeah, okay. so I felt like I really wanted to just create the type of food that I wanted to create, you know, try some new flavor profiles, dishes that I've never made before, and I wanted to do it in a way where I just see what Lauren wants, basically, right? So I ask Lauren what she wants to eat, and then I try to create a new take on that, you know, put a new spin on whatever that dish is. So it's been a lot of fun. I've just had a lot of fun exploring and trying to make new things. Mm -hmm. I feel like that's been the theme throughout, like, while we haven't been here with y'all is that we're exploring, we're trying new things. We've been growing as individuals. We've been growing as a married couple. Yeah. Um, I've also been working on my nonprofit. <laughs> 
I am very proud of that. It's something I have talked about for years. I feel like since, yeah. we, since we've gotten married. For sure. Yeah. yeah, yeah so yeah. it's finally coming to be, and I'm so excited about it. Um, hoping to give you guys more of an update on that more so down the road because it's, yeah. it's building right now. Very proud of you for that. And Thank it's a you. huge step to take. And I think that to add to what Lauren said, we've really been planting a lot of seeds mm -hmm. this year and the time for harvest is coming, but Amen. we're planting a lot of seeds right now. Come on, so. Cam, with the harvest in the seed. <laughs> It's true though. Oh, it's, we've we've been, you know, a, not every seed, not every seed becomes a mature plant what? that you can harvest. Come but on. We've been putting those seeds in, so you know, it's one of those things where you just have to be patient too, right? Cam is preaching on this YouTube video. Okay? It's true. I think about it every day because you know, it's it's not easy when you want the fruits of your labor. You want to be able to share. Oh, we did this huge project, or we have this yeah. great news to share, but you got to put in that work and, you know, till the field and water it and all that stuff. So. Come on, Ken. <laughs> what the word? He said till the field. Amen. Amen. That's definitely what this past six months has been for us. Yeah. Is we till in the field. Something else that we got to experience for the first time. We got a chance to go to the Little Mermaid premiere. It was amazing. It was, yeah. It's Little Mermaid premiere morning. Ooh. Just woke up in our hotel in Hollywood. Oh, yeah. It's like 7 a.m. Ready to start the day. 7 a.m. LA time, but we're still <laughs> we're still on East Coast time. Oh my yes, God! Yes. Like I couldn't believe I was there. First off, I was hyped. Even on oh, the yeah. airplane, I was just singing "Part of Your World" to like <laughs> the flight attendants. It was a moment. We watched a Little Mermaid, the old one, to prepare. You know, mm -hmm. we got our clothes together. I like the ribbing of it, you know? Yeah, I like the color here. Mm -hmm. really All right, Cam, getting his Prince Charming outfit. Oh, look at this. So, I've got these shoes tonight. Look at these. I love the iridescent quality of them. Because, you know, that just seems to go with, like, under the sea, that whole theme, right? And you already probably saw my suit at this point in the video, but this is how it's looking. So we're also getting the iridescence there. So we're just going to do a little moisture mask on Cam so it can be nice and hydrated Perfect. before he hits the carpet on their asses. Mm -hmm. And we came to the blue carpet. Yes. Here we are. We're on our way. Can't wait. Feeling. I, I don't feel nervous yet. But I'm sure maybe when we get there, I'll feel that way. But I'm feeling good right now. Look at my gorgeous wife. Look at this. <laughs> Look at this blue carpet. Wow. So just follow all the things that she'll take care of you guys. This is amazing. Thank you. You guys look so good. Here we are. Amazing. We worked the blue carpet. Yes, we did. It was fun. <laughs> was we fun. saw uh, Haley. We saw Chloe. Holly. Holly. Haley. Haley. Holly. Holly. I think it's Holly. I think it's Holly. Holly. I think baby. it's Holly. Holly. Yeah. Baby. This is the astonishingly one. amazing, extraordinary, as Ariel, <laughs> Holly Bailey. <laughs> such like a black girl magic moment too like on the carpet yeah it was it was a wonderful night though you know we got to see all these celebs and mm -hmm. it was very cool we've been doing some traveling too yes we've done a lot of traveling yes. we went to new york city in mm -hmm. january had a lot of fun there my parents met up with us there which was cool we went to see two broadway shows mm -hmm. was it the piano lesson yes 
and Harry Potter Cursed Child. Mm, wouldn't recommend Harry Potter. You know, I'm a huge Harry Potter fan, but that was not my favorite show. The piano lesson was amazing. It's very good. Harry Potter, I was rooting for it. First off, the Harry Potter Broadway show was four, four hours? It was really long, at least three, three and hours? some change, yeah. It yeah. Had Harry Potter to be acting on stage. Well, if it was good, then that would have been fine. But it wasn't good. But it, it just wasn't good. Sorry if you're an actor. From yeah, well, it's not. I mean, they, it's not their fault. It's. I it think just, it's the it writing. It was a little long, and it just. It wasn't. I'm a huge Harry Potter fan, and I. I didn't care for it. Yeah. I have to say. I know but, we're throwing some shade, but. No, we're. This is this is a place of truth. Yes, okay? yes. It's not shade if we're living in our truth. People may have been thinking about, you know, going to see it. And we're just sharing our yeah. experience. Fun. But it was fun to just spend some time with our parents yes. and, you know, go to the theater, have some hard, like, butter beer or whatever it was. We also went to Morocco. Yes, we did. Um, and, too, speaking of Morocco, our hearts go out to Morocco, Marrakesh. I know that you guys have just experienced a huge earthquake so prayers for you guys um and our hearts are with you um Absolutely. our experience when we did go which was prior to the earthquake it was beautiful the people were beautiful yes um the food was amazing absolutely we got a chance to go to the market um did some shopping yep lauren definitely did some shopping well hey i'm in i'm, I'm in morocco yes okay i got a rug i got some clothes i have got a little bit of everything i did get some clothes as well what was your favorite thing about morocco man i think i really appreciated the attention to detail and like the craftsmanship of everything from the food to the architecture to like the clothes they really have like that craftsmanship mentality so i really appreciated that Cam was thinking about getting some swords or something like that. Well, I did. I mean, there was this really beautiful silver sword, but it was like two thousand dollars. I'm like, I can't really justify two thousand dollars for a sword. I don't know. I'm just not a big spender. Well, I say you only live once. Okay, when you gonna be back in Morocco to get this Moroccan sword? Right. I you know. Don't know. You know? I really, I really love swords. I guess that's how we're yin and yang, you know, because I feel like you only live once. You're in Morocco. You're holding this. <laughs> it was a beautiful oh, sword. I'm not gonna sword. lie. <laughs> and it's like, you know, you're here. I know. I mean, two thousand dollars is a lot of money, so I. Understand. For a sword. It is. I mean, if I was using it every day. But you could pass that down for generations. That's. I know. That sword could be here. 4,000 years from now, like yeah. this sword belongs to Cameron <laughs> Hamilton. That's true. Damn it, why didn't I buy I, the sword? I told you to get the sword. Uh, I told you to get the sword. But uh, anyway, maybe we'll go back at some point. Yeah, right. I know that you guys always ask when we travel, like, what happens with Mr. Spark? Mr. Spark is <laughs> good, okay? <laughs> He's chilling at the house. Yes. Uh, the parents usually watch him or something yep. like that. Yep. And that's yep. something else that we've really been focusing on for the past half a year is spending time with family. Yes, right? Absolutely. We're making that more of a priority. Well, family is the most important, obviously. Mm -hmm. And you know, you think about like, why are we even doing all the things that we're doing? You know, in theory, you want to be able to have more time to spend with family, but yet we're always running around working and doing all this stuff. And which is great, it's great to make money, but if you don't have any time to spend with your family, what's the point? Mm -hmm. Speaking of family and traveling, yes. Cam and I's five year wedding anniversary is coming up, y'all. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. Can you believe it's been five years? I can't. I can't. Half a decade, we've been half married. Half a decade, yep. Do you know, like, half a decade is a long time. It is a long time. That's a change from like, Bad Boy when they first came out to like Bad Boy without, <laughs> without. That's how I measure Biggie time. Biggie and like, it was like 112. Yep. Good point. I'm just saying. Good point, yeah. The millennials get it, okay? I know a lot of y'all was born in 2000, <laughs> but do you, do get history. Diddy's back now. Diddy's um, back now, yep. But yeah, so I'm really excited. Five years married, my God. So yeah. Cam and I have been talking about different ways to celebrate. celebrate. Yep. Oh, jinx. jinx. That's five years. 
<laughs> celebrate. Celebrate. Um, so. Yeah, so, did, oh, did you say what we're gonna do? You did I did not. We're thinking of some options. Should we share? I don't know, because we don't really know what we're gonna do. What do you guys think that we should do for yeah, our five Comment years? down below yeah, comment what you below. think what we should do we'll, for we'll five years. We'll throw out one of the things we're thinking of doing. Okay, throw it out. Go ahead. Oh, you. Well, we were thinking of renewing our vows in Vegas. Mm -hmm. I just think right. Vegas would be fun. We could bring our family and loved ones there. Yep. I want to go see Usher. You know, I hope you get to see Usher because I am so tired of hearing about it. <laughs> God. I have asked, I've been talking about seeing Usher for a long for time. For years. <laughs> And I'm like, let's just go. Let's get this over with. Well, this with. is a perfect opportunity. Okay, <laughs> okay let's can, do it. I can go see Ursher. Yes, Ursher, baby. Yeah. Let's go. I, I can't wait. Right. And then Dita Fontis, you know, the burlesque. Oh, yeah. She's there. She had a show. Yep. So I just want to see the shows. I want to go to like one of the like cheesy Vegas chapels. Yeah. With, like a retro kind of looking wedding dress, you know. And yes. Let's do it. Vegas it out. Let's do it. All we gotta do is plan it and pay for it. Would you go see Usher with me? Yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> oh, I can't go without you? I will be there with my Usher t-shirt on. <laughs> yeah, right. I will. Okay. Watch me. What's your favorite Usher song? Usher, baby. That's not a song. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah is your favorite Usher yeah. song? Yeah. 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 All up on me screaming. Yeah. I don't think that's... That's an Usher song. Is that the melody? Oh, that's the chorus, me. yeah. Okay, sing another song. That's my favorite one. That's the only one you know. <laughs> that's, look, I just like what I like, and that's the one I like. Okay, so what if Usher gives you the mic, and he's like, It started when we were younger, you were mine. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> you gonna get us kicked out. <laughs> you think Usher's it's gonna my, pass me the mic? It's my boo. <laughs> Say, my boo. That's what I said. We'll work on it. We got some work to do. Before we get to Vegas, Usher, I promise if you give us the mic, we'll be prepared. We'll crush it. We'll do you proud, Ush. Um, it's going to be good. It's going to be great. <laughs> we'll see. It's going to be great. Any shows you want to see in particular if we go to Vegas? Well, that's a good question. I mean, I really only thought about the vow renewal, but I'd just like to explore. Um, I don't really like to gamble. I'm not, about, I'm not a gambler. Yeah, um, I would like to see some shows. You know, I like Adele. Oh yes. Yep. What's your favorite Adele song? Oh, Rolling in the Deep. Rolling in, in the deep. deep. I can't hit that note. It's too high for me. That'll be fun. <laughs> okay, let's go there too. Yep. Oh yeah. Um, Skyfall. She did the Skyfall song. Anything James Bond. Skyfall. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> How does that one go again, babe? Let it crumble. <laughs> that sounds like a little country song. Well, you know, I put my own flair on it. A little twang. A little twang. <laughs> um, yeah, no, Adele's great. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely down to see an Adele. Yep, show. yep, yep. Yeah, any sort of theater type stuff that would be cool. The theater. The theater. I mean, I just can't believe once again that we've been married for five years. Mm -hmm. Many, many more to go. That's right. So, yeah. I mean, that's pretty much it, y'all. I mean, thank you so much for tuning in to our life update. What's been going on? We're going to try to post more. Please <laughs> you subscribe to our YouTube channel. <laughs> Turn on your notifications. Yes. Be sure to hit that like button, too. Mm -hmm. we'll, pa we'll pause so you can do that. Go ahead. <laughs> go ahead. Well, we love you guys, and we will see you in the next video. And who knows, maybe we'll even share our vow renewal. Be sure I don't to know. keep tuned so you can see. We'll see. Thank you, guys. Bye. Bye.